Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to bend a C-clasp for a holy retainer. The instruments needed, a 139 plier, a three-prong plier, a wire cutter, and a three-inch length of 036 wire. You want to start off by drawing your lines and where your wire is going to go. And then finish into the pallet. Every technician will finish the edge of the wire different. This here is how to make an eyelet. It's a short bend and then you squeeze the edge with your plier. This will give you a smooth finish. When you bend your wire, you want to start in the mesial embrasure of the first molar. And with a short series of bends, make a short arch following the buckle contour of that first molar. You want to make sure the wire touches the tooth throughout the entire buckle surface. If you need to adjust, you can use your 139 plier or also the three prong plier to get that better arch. Once the wire is contacting the buckle surface, we want to get the wire tucked into that distal embrasure. To do this, mark where your wire needs to be bent, hold the wire straight, and bend the longer end towards the outside. As you see, the wire is now inside that distal embrasure. Our next step will be to bend over the occlusal surface. We want to make sure to mark the area that we need to bend without interfering with the patient's occlusion. Now you could finish your occlusal in two ways, straight across, or you can make an up and down bend to give it the contour of the cusp. When bending down into the lingual surface, we want to make sure we follow the lingual surface of the tooth downwards, almost so it fits like a little cap, as seen both in the picture above. The wire should fit nicely on the tooth with no space between the wire and the tooth. We are now going to bend our wire towards the mesial to finish our tail. Remember, the wire should not contact the tissue surface. It should be slightly above it so that acrylic can flow underneath it. Any excess wire in the tail, we will then cut off. You can finish your wire either straight or make a little design as seen above. The clasp should sit on the model without any pressure. Repeat the same for the opposite side. You want to add sticky wax to the buckle surface before we start our acrylic work to hold it in place. 